Okay, we're trying to get this together, guys. Give us a second. My camera's all fuzzy. Hi! Whoop, whoop. How's everyone doing tonight? We love you, too. How's everyone doing? I get, I get, green, today. I get green today. <laughs> I can't even see you, man. Do you put your brightness all the way up? Mm. Hold on, guys. Oh, my God. I finally got a live one. Is that better, baby? Yeah, much. Mm. How's everyone doing? I try to share it on my Facebook as soon as we start, and every time I'm like, where are we? Come and we? get one, Steph. We got a whole bunch of them. Don't come like after an hour. We'll probably be asleep. Probably we'll be asleep. Um, I got homework, though. What's the surprise? That we, hey, Tay. That the we're surprise doing it on is a that it's on a Tuesday. <laughs> we going up on a Tuesday. <laughs> D-Nizzy, no bounce. Oh, thank you for respecting my G-ism. Oh. Hey, Tay. Was that hate towards me? That was hate towards you. It was. He's a hater. I'm not a hater. He won't um, acknowledge the fact that I'm a gene. And I don't know what this little string of hair is doing. I don't know. Okay. We could both pick cherry today. Mm, look. Thug life. I know. I mean, like, I would... I am a G, and I would no. so like start crip walking real quick. If, no. But I'm not gonna crip walk because no. I just dance for like an hour and a half. <laughs> so I'm not gonna crip walk for y'all tonight. Look, I will save y'all from that. That she keeps talking like she's a G, but she is really far from it. Whatever. So far from it. Whatever. He's just a hater. Oh no, I'm not. C walk. <laughs> you want me to crip walk? <laughs> uh, Casey would have to hold hey, the. Tara. Or Tara is it? Tara. Tara. It's Tara. Tar is it Tara or Tara? Put a one for Tara, two for Tara. 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 Two. Tara. 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 Oh, it could be tear or tear. Tara, Tara, Bobera, Banana, Nana, Fofera, Me, Ma, Momera, Tara. Oh. Y'all saw my hashtag. Like, view into the nerdiness that is us this is this is what happens this is this is what happened yeah hello hello hola um, como estas yes and we got candy and i drank a whole big old gatorade because i was about to pass out dropping mm, 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 mm. hey charis hey i'm sorry you the, i'm so sorry she can't hear anymore if you i'm Leo. sorry oh. i'm so sorry charis hi charis um Muy cansada, muy, muy cansada. Y yo soy, um, hi, the school pee hands uh, and Judy. Who is Judy? The, the girl I gave the, the ride to. Oh. Man. Y'all, I couldn't even go into all the detail of how that went down. But it was, like, the dude was walking up with her. And their strides were, they had to be like Usain Bolt strides. They got to the car so fast. And both my windows are down. I am screaming at them, stop, stop, don't come closer. And they ain't listening. They laughing. Like, <laughs> because their whole mind agenda was we're about to ask the police for a ride to the store. To get cigarettes. Yeah, and a drink. A regular drink. A water, I think it was even. So they're not listening to me as I'm screaming at them not to come closer. So he comes right. <laughs> I didn't get it in the car. Although my police car uh, seat probably does have pee on. I pee in my car every day. Um, I get my coffee first thing in the morning. When I finish that coffee, I probably fill it back up three times with uh, restroom stops. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't like a one-time thing. But... These people come creeping up on me. My windows were down. And he gets to my side. Yes, I wash my hands, people. I Look. I make him double wash his hands once he gets home. Yeah, Babe, you're like I pushing have, me out the way. Oh, sorry. I, I felt you were doing the same to me a minute ago. Move. You were nasty. Get out the way. 
get out the way, trick, get out the way. Is this you trying to be your G? Genius? My G coming out. I'm not pulling out. Okay, so, uh, I have a large bottle of hand sanitizer in my car and two small bottles as well. So, <laughs> between that and the fact that I deal with crackheads all He is all your best day, friend, Stephanie. This, this is your best friend. You claim him. Yeah, that does happen. Anyway. I ain't messed up about my pee on my hands, but I do hand sanitize. I messed up about his pee on his look, hands. Look, I clean my hands. And then I got home and she's like, look, you're going to take a shower right now. See yeah, ya. I made him take a shower. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, so this lady comes walking up on me. And, like, I had to be, ask her what she wanted with my fly still on zip. Like, that's how quick she got up to my window. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. If I, if I try to zip it up now, she's obviously going to see I'm digging in my pants. So... It just rolled with that until she got my back seat, and then I zipped it on up. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and what was funny is I was actually on the phone with her on he speakerphone was. as they were walking up. So she she hears me laugh or yelling at him. She's like, "What's going on?" I'm like, "Babe, I got to let you go. I have to." Uh, and she's just dying <laughs> laughing too. And every I look, it was funny, but it was terrible at the it same time. It was so time. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, I was just like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh." This is actually the third time that's happened. Uh, the most annoying one was some little redneck guy come pulling right. He zoomed right up to me on his motorcycle, and thankfully it had been raining recently. And my phone repeats. No, it was sitting up on speakerphone because I was, you know, I was I was about to handle my business. Anyway, another time I was parked in the very back desolate part of a hospital, and this little redneck dude comes zooming up on a motorcycle. And luckily it had been raining the last couple of days and I had my rain jacket right next to me. So I just grabbed it and threw it over the top of me as I'm like pinching off. And he's like, <laughs> I'll race you, zoom, zoom, race you. And I'm like, if you don't go somewhere right now and leave me alone with your redneckness. And he's like, <laughs> zoom, took on up. And I'm just like, oh, I can't deal with people sometimes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, pinching off. I know that's what I'm laughing at. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it'd be hard, to It does. Look, look, sometimes we'll have to hold RP till it's hurting so bad and we still just have to sit on our call. So when I have to go, I'm not like, oh, let me go to the substation and go to the bathroom. No, I find a spot right then because the next second could be a call that I have to rush to unless I'm in the middle of P and then they can wait for about. 15 seconds. And then he pee on himself and we'd be calling him Pee Casey. Yeah. What did I walk into? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, okay. So we'll get to questions. Uh, question time. Question time. Question, question, question time. It's question time. It's question time. Jesus, it's, Jesus. It's, it's question time. Mm, mm, I do mm, the pants. Mm, mm. Uh, so Tara hit us up early this week. I love you for that. Yes. I wrote all of mine out one day, and then I was like, Denise, you going to do that? And she goes, you know, I just fly fly with whatever comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, so I started out with water bottles, but I quickly learned that mouth hole is too small. Uh, I, I made too many messes, so I changed to a Gatorade bottle, and I just have moved to my big open. Teachers and police have strong bladders. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have a strong bladder. <laughs> That's why I pee in the cups all the time. Um, yes, Tara, your questions were so amazing. They actually made us like well, think. I, yeah, they did make me think a lot. I, I, I'm looking skinny. Can y'all tell that I'm losing weight? You're a mess. I feel like I look skinny tonight. That's because you just sweat all of your. Yes, out of your yes, for the losing weight. Yes. <laughs> Oh, thank you, because I don't be feeling like I be looking good, y'all. Look, I try to tell her every day, we appreciate y'all's encouragement as well. Yes, and we really do. She's like, but why would somebody want my body? I'm like, uh, you should just look through, look at your body through my eyes, maybe. Because when I look at my body, I don't see what yeah. everybody else be seeing. I think we're our own worst critics sometimes. I think so, too. Oh. Okay, so... What kind of advice would you give yourself if you could go back in time 10 years? <laughs> I just come to the school. All right, so my 10 year ago self, I would my advice would be to slow down. Just enjoy everything more. 
Um, this would be for my personal, well, for both really, personal life and career career life. Because there's, there's different advices for me for being the police and then just off duty. Um, and I'll be looking down a lot because I did type all mine out. He did. For real deal. Typed it all out. Like, um, all professionally. Uh, no, it's not really professional. It's a note not on my I phone. I said the cat. So for my personal life, I said, experience more, seek out the beauty and laugh a lot. Not that I dwelled on negative and the negative people in my life, but I would seek out more positive people and just that be my life source more. Um, for my career, the beginning of my career, which is probably every rookie, we're excited to be out there, we're go-getters. Um, but I had the mentality of, I need to handle this call as quick as I can and be back out there to be available for the next call that comes in or go look for something else to get into. Um, if I had that over to do with, I would stop doing that. I would take my time on calls, develop personal relationships with people. Um, one of the things I really look up to with some of our older officers that work the same area for so long is they've watched these kids grow up into almost you know, 15, 20 year old kids. So they know that kid's whole life. So when they come in contact with them on the street, they're like, dude, I'm just gonna call your mama. I know your mama. Right. And well, let me tell you, mamas will handle stuff better than anybody else out there. They'll yeah, disrespect they will. us all day, but they ain't going to talk back to their mama. Um, so I would do that. I would love deeper, form and build community relationships a lot better. Um, the job isn't about the call to call. Let's see. Invest my time and emotional energy into the people I'm protecting. Look, it's hard sometimes to invest, like pull such emotions into people. I've I already... From last year to this year, I fell in love with some of the kids that I saw every day at school, and then over the summer they moved away. And without warning, you know, I'm not able to say bye to them. I'm not. I just can't see them anymore. And it's hard. It's yeah. hard to deal with that sometimes. Um, but yeah. it's it's a reality of the job. It's part of. It's just. It's gonna happen, I guess. Um, your ten year ten year advice. Well, Tara, I'm gonna have to go a little bit further than ten years. Oh, okay. Because 10 years ago, I was married already. I got married at 22, and I'm 32 now. 10 years ago, I was getting into my first marriage. <laughs> like, I've been... Okay, well, now okay. remember... No, hold hang on. on, hang on, hang on. But remember this one. Because that's okay. a separate question. Okay. So, hold on. What if... Um, if <sighs> that's a hard one for me, because 10 years ago... When I got married, I probably would have told myself not to get married. But <laughs> if I would have told myself to not get... Like, Casey and I talk a lot about, like, um, the butterfly effect. Okay, so... You're right back into but that. I'm still going to go into that one. Okay, well, we'll just do both of these questions at once. Uh, the other one is, if you could change anything that happened in your past, what would it be? So she's going to tie both of those together. I'm going to have to. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got married at 22 to my kid's father. So it's kind of like a... <laughs> Denise, you shouldn't have got married. You were running. I was running. I um, dropped out of school. I moved to Washington State. I was running from problems that was going on at home. Hello. Um, I was running from... Thank you. Um, I was running from a lot of things, so I probably would have told myself to not get married as quickly as I did. But had I not gotten married, I wouldn't have had my kids. I met some amazing people in Washington, like Charisse. Um, I met some of my closest friends in Washington. So like, I'm one of those people that believe that everything happens for a reason. And every road that you take has led you to where you are today. So even though <laughs> be safe <laughs> um even though my marriage didn't work out and um <laughs> uh, my marriage didn't work out i was um emotionally and um not physically but emotionally and mentally abused i still had two amazing kids out of it and it made me stronger in the end you know everything that my husband <laughs> everything my husband put me through made me who I am right now and it actually I feel like it made me it prepared me for Casey so 
I don't know. I don't really know what I would tell my, myself 10 years ago. I mean, before I got married, I was out there thotting again. Y'all know we had this conversation last week about me and thotting. <laughs> like, I was the queen of Thotlandia. And oh, you did have one. What? School. But Oh, yeah. So, um, if I could go back in my past... I would I would have taken college seriously the first round. I dropped out of college. That's why you write it down. I'll be quiet. I dropped out of college. <laughs> yes. Um, I dropped out of college to get married. Yes. Thought, look, for real, Tara. Like, I was like... <laughs> for Tell real, y'all. suck you in. I was like... <laughs> I was out there. Taylor, don't... Taylor, you you was too young, and I would always hide that side from you because I was trying to be a good big cousin to you. Let me okay. Side note, y'all. Okay, so uh -oh. before I go back into, I gotta tell y'all this story. So, me and my best friend Terry and it, we went to the club because we <laughs> thank you, boo. That's why we here. That's why we here. Um, my life was way back Wednesdays, thirsty Thursdays. Fridays was at this one club, and then Saturdays we would do it. Like so, we were in the club four nights a week. That's probably how I stayed skinny because I didn't eat and I drank a lot of alcohol. Um, but <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so I got really wasted one night, and I mean like white boy wasted. I got really bad wasted. And I was staying with my aunt, which is Taylor's mom. Taylor, say hi. Um, I was staying with Tay, and I got to the house, and I was so drunk. My aunt was like, Denise. <laughs> she was like, Denise, you need to get yourself together. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never been drunk before. That's, um, I was wasted. She was like, Denise, you need to get yourself together. And I'm like, where's Taylor at? I don't want Taylor to see me like this. And, well, I know you haven't, Taylor. Um, I literally, like, was, like, rolling on the couch. Oh, man. I was, like, rolling that around on I the couch. I can really picture all this happening, y'all. It's bad. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Don't be. How old is Taylor? Taylor's 21. She just, yeah. she just turned 20. No, you're about to turn 20, 21, Tay. You finna turn 22. This month, her birthday is this month, y'all. Tell her early happy birthday. <laughs> early happy birthday to you. Early happy birthday. Anyway, mm -hmm. so I partied a lot my first go around. Like, I partied hard, y'all. Like, just hit the bottle from now on. <laughs> I partied really hard. I partied really hard and I got kicked out of school my first time going around. And then I uh, stopped going to school for two years and then I got back in school and then I dropped out of school to get married to my husband. So if I could go back in time, I would have taken school seriously. Man, that Patron. No. Patron. Just, just leave tequila out of my life. That's him, right. but you give me some shots of Patron, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, let's go. You're bad. Mm, 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 hey, mm, we're focusing mm, here. Okay, focus. So, but yeah, um, <laughs> he actually wrote it down, y'all. <laughs> Can y'all see that? <laughs> it's backwards. Why is it backwards? That's weird. He wrote it. Anyway. He be telling me to focus because I'm like a fly tail light. Man. Yeah. I don't know about high school. High school. I mean, how much being like having a four point in high school, how much does that really help you? I graduated I with a 3.2, so I'm good on mine. Unless you're striving for a scholarship, how much does high school GPAs really matter? I don't know. Anyway. So that's me. I would have taken mm -hmm. college more seriously. I would have focused. I would have went to class. <laughs> I didn't go to class. Mm -hmm. I just lived in the dorms. I just lived for free. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that does matter. That makes that a difference. Ma it makes a big difference. <laughs> uh, let's see. On my end, if I oh. could change anything that happened in the past. 
my mama, my mama tricked me and bought a car because I was supposed to go to Tennessee State University, which it probably was a better thing that I didn't go. And my mama told me if I went to UCA, my mama told me if I went to UCA that she would get me a car, but she just lied to me so I'd stay in the state of Arkansas. That's how mamas do you. They lie to you to get what they want. Don't tell my mama that, Taylor, because I don't want to get in trouble. You know she's going to watch anyway. Yeah. Yes, Tennessee State University. I was, yeah. Terrible school. <laughs> he looked like Zach Efron. You went to Fisk? I talked to a guy that went to Fisk. I don't even know what that is. There is a, um, a, a black school. A HBSU. A HS, historically black college. Or you, HBU. I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. C, no. A HBCU. Thank you, because I got all my letters. He does. He looks like Casey. I don't think he looks like Zac Efron either. Uh, I've been know. told a lot. Look, some Mexican told me down in Cancun one time that I looked like Brad Pitt. And I was like, I will take it. But that was back in like the Brad Pitt Fight Club days. Not the post Angelina Jolie. He's really weird now. Mm -hmm. Kind of hurt me a little bit because I, I used to like him a lot. We meet y'all in Tennessee. Um, Murphy's Pearl isn't too far from us, is it? I don't know. We're, We're uh, two hours away from... Memphis. How far is Murfreesboro from Memphis? Yeah, how far is Murfreesboro from, Mem from Memphis? We're two hours from Memphis. Y'all see that stretch? Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> on my end of it, if I could change anything that happened in the past, what would it be? I wouldn't. Uh, like Denise said, I'm also... Everything that's happened previously in my life, good and bad, has led me to where I am now, and I'm very happy in my life now. Um, it looks like we're going to be having issues again. Are y'all getting kicked off and come back? Is it pausing and all that crap again? I don't know. Is anybody having trouble out there with Periscope? Yeah, mine is. I don't know what's going on. It might be our room. We might have yeah. to relocate. Do you want to try to go into the dining room, babe? She, they said not bad right there. Freezing slightly, but not bad. Yes, I was, but it's gotten better. Hmm. I don't know. We might have to try next time in the um the dining room. Yeah. We're kind of closed off in a corner of the house back here. Yeah. Right in the quiet nook away from the kids the area. I, I don't know if it would help, but we can try. Uh, anyway, I was saying, I wouldn't change anything, good or bad. It leads me to where I am now. I'm very happy where I am. Uh, so, yeah. Mm, okay. You have the next question. My question is... No, we're not married currently. No, not married. Not yet. Anyway. <laughs> How was my relationship with God after finding out my husband was cheating? Um... This is a hard one. It's an easy, but it's a hard one. It's easy because... Uh, well, you want to talk about how... Like, how you prayed all the time for it and how you wanted to fix it so bad. And Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. See, that is a good question. Oh, no, you're, you didn't make it awkward. Um, So, y'all, look. When I was married... Tara, Tara, are you still in here? I think Tara is still in here. Um, when I got married, I became super religious. I became that fire filled, speaking in tongues, catching the Holy Ghost, um, walking around the house, praying over everybody. I had my own bottle of holy oil. I didn't drink. Oh, I was. You put stuff in your shoes. And all yeah, that. I was a form thought and um i had thought that god had saved me and brought me my husband so when my marriage didn't go as planned i used to go and talk to like the mothers of the church you know because they say that the mothers of the church give you good advice and um so one of the mothers told me that i need to put some holy oil in his shoes and I did, y'all. I put holy oil in every pair of shoes he had. And I prayed over his shoes. I prayed over his steps. I'm like, Lord, this is my husband. And 
I know that we're supposed to be together, Lord. I just need you to fix my marriage. Not to make him stay. No, not to make him stay, but to like um, fix my marriage. I was praying that God would fix my marriage. I was every Sunday, I would be passed out on the altar, snotting. And oh, he didn't wear J's, so that wasn't he didn't wear J's. He was anyway, um, <laughs> but uh, right, I would be passed out on the altar crying every Sunday, speaking in tongues like, Lord, fix my marriage, Lord fix my marriage. If it's me, fix me. You know, my first lady was like, don't pray, fix your husband, pray, fix you. So my prayer went from fix my husband to fix me. And then, you know, my prayer went from fix me, Lord, just to your will, your will, God, your will, God, your will. So when I went to Arkansas, came to Arkansas, um, I didn't know he was cheating. No, I found out the day I got back home. I think I told y'all, but you, I don't know yeah. if you were here yet or if you've ever watched our Periscope. Um, I found out, I came home for two months. I was in Arkansas. Uh, I was a stay at home mom. I came home so that the, everybody could meet my daughter because I had just had her in January. I thought so, yeah. I found out the day, <laughs> no, I'm new. <laughs> Okay, I'll um I'll and like I found out that he was cheating. It's cozy here. <laughs> I'm glad you're cozy. <laughs> Pull up a chair, stay a while. I know. Um, grab some coffee. Um I found out he was cheating the day I got back from vacation. And I found out because I did some investigating. And I found naked pictures of the woman in my house on my air mattress in my living room. And my baby's stuff was like two feet away behind the couch. Yeah. So, yeah. I called her because I felt, look, y'all know when women, y'all know women get a little crazy. Y'all know we get a little crazy when stuff like that happened, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we threaten men and men don't be, they don't be listening and they don't think that we really crazy. And so... We got to show them that we, for real deal, like, nigga, I'm crazy. Excuse my French. But, thank yes. So, I had to do some investigating, and I found out her name. I found out her phone number. I found out her place of address. I found out her place of employment. I found out um, a lot of stuff. Yeah, I learned that. The, look, I found out everything that I needed to know about this chick. And so I started calling her. And I would call her. And she would answer the phone. So I would call her again. Women turn into CSI investigators real quick when we need to. Don't play. Hello from New Zealand. What? Uh, I, I would love to visit Yes. Your, well, I would say you, but I don't really know you. But I, I would love to, to visit New Zealand. That's want to see list. that beautiful country. Um, but yes, yeah, so I told him. I found out all this information. He lied, of course. Uh, right, we do research better than the FBI. Look, um, I told him I found out all this information because he lied. Of course, he lied. He said she provided the condoms. He said she came on to him. Holy crap, Jamaica. We've Dang. been to Jamaica. Um, but, uh, so I text her this big, long, I guess you're not woman enough to answer my phone calls type of text messages. You know how we do. If you were respectful with it. I was not respectful with it. No. Maybe it was the next one. It was, that one was not respectful. I called, I didn't call her everything but a child of God, but I let her know, hello from down the street, <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Taylor. Oh. Um, I let her know. Let me turn on my fan. I'm sorry, baby. I let her know that I knew what was going on. Well, come to find out, she wasn't answering my phone calls because she thought that I was him. Because we have the exact same phone number except for the last number. His was a five and mine is a six. Oh. Yes, she knew I was married. Or she knew he was married. Um, She was like, he contacted me. He said, let's meet up for coffee. We went to um, one coffee shop that was really full. So we went to Starbucks. 
Because in Washington, there's a Starbucks on every corner. So they went to Starbucks. Starbucks was really cool. So he said, follow me. So she said she followed him and they started going through a neighborhood. And um, I'm like, but when you started going through the neighborhood, it didn't dawn on you to stop following him. When you pulled into my driveway, right. When, when, when you pulled into my driveway, it didn't dawn on you to stop following him. When you walked into my house and saw all of my pictures yes. hanging on the wall, all of my family pictures, it didn't dawn on you to not walk further into my house. When you saw my baby's bassinet behind the couch, it, it didn't dawn on you to walk out my house. Anyway, so I found out. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, hilarious. she knew he was married. She's okay. um but just a question. So all of that messed me up, guys. Like it messed me up because I was like, Lord, I've been praying for my marriage. I have been doing everything in the Bible that you told me to do. And so when I found out he cheated, I kinda had peace. I had a lot of peace and I um I was depressed. I gained another 30 pounds. I got up to like 165 pounds. I uh stopped going to church. I um I hello. I um so I guess you can say that my relationship with God was strained. Uh, I say all of that to say that because I felt like, Lord, I did everything that you told me to do and my marriage still fell apart. My husband still cheated on me. And now, yeah, I got up to 165. I went from, well, okay, let me tell you. I was 140, 140 pounds after I had Kenzie and I got up to 165. So, um, I'm five, six, but it was a lot of weight on me. So yeah, I, my, my relationship with God was strained. Like <laughs> <laughs> my relationship was messed up. I did. I didn't know. I felt alone. I felt like God had failed me. I mean, I can be honest with you guys. I felt like God had failed me. I felt like I had failed me. I felt like my husband failed me. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't though. It was not. Because <laughs> I had lost all my weight. <laughs> um, but I abstained from sex. I did not do anything for nine months. And I kind of tried to find my way back. So, um, yeah, good for me. But then I, I lost it again. It wasn't for very long. Hola. Bienvenidos. Look, that, that's as far as you're going to make it. I was going to say, welcome to our Periscope. My bad. Dang, he always blocking my shine, y'all. I am, I am. He won't let me be great. Oh. They not a... <laughs> Anyway, so that's that's my thing. Hopefully that makes sense. I know I talk a lot and I told y'all all my business, but I feel like we have a connection. Yeah, nine months. It was hard, y'all, because I mean, that's when I first met you. Yeah. And that nine months, like she'd be like, "Look, I I, I need something, I, but I'm not just gonna settle." I don't. I don't know. I'm lost on that. Uh, something about good. You some good. You good too. Bam. I think that's what he said. Yeah. So Casey, two months and I started graying up. <laughs> <laughs> Look. That was the longest nine months of my well, it wasn't because my husband told me he wasn't sexually attracted to me. So we didn't have sex. Or if we did have sex, it would be like once a month or once every couple of bye oh bye um it would once every um three or four weeks 
there was no <laughs> God was preparing me for that nine month drought. <laughs> Yeah, he told me he wasn't sexually attracted to me, so um there wasn't there wasn't a lot of sexual activity in my marriage. I'm sorry. So yeah. But I met Casey during my nap nine month drought. And I'd be like, Look. We met on what, two months or so after you moved back down? What, mm -mm. what month did you move down? I moved down here in July and we met in like oh, February. In February. Yeah, January, February. Yeah. So it was six, not even six months. Not even six months. Six months. We met six months after she moved back. Yeah. Crazy part is, is that this is kind of going on. When we first met Casey, me and my coworker was in there and she was like, I'm going to hook you up with him. She was like, he looked like he date black girls. I was like, he do look like he date black girls. And I ain't see no ring on his finger. Look, she was know. like, I didn't see no ring on his finger either. So the next time he comes in there, my coworker was like I don't even know <laughs> he deep for real y'all my co-worker was like are you married and he was like yeah and we were both like dang <sighs> yeah he was married so I just told him about all my sex capades my sex capades after my nine month drought <laughs> nine months is a long time y'all mm -hmm. nine months is a long time alone i mean like you start to just realize things about your body that you just didn't even know after nine months like i didn't know i could do that <laughs> you talking about your dreams man yes them dreams hi, hi. and this is periscope after dark <laughs> <laughs> Oh, them dreams, them what? middle of the night dreams be having you. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Where's, where's Bridget when we need her? I know. Where is Bridget? I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Y'all just be singing the whole time. Anyway. I know. We do be singing. All right. So the next question is for me, and this is a very long answer. I'll read the question first. Um, it says, you seem like such a kind-hearted person. Have you ever arrested anyone or used your police voice to defuse a situation? <sighs> I saw him arrest someone before. Oh, Miss Miss Christopher. It was like right when we had first started talking. Man. We had this crazy customer who would come in who thought she was Jesus. She thought a lot. And he had to arrest her. And I've never seen Casey arrest anybody because, like you said, he kind hearted. Y'all, that was the biggest turn on ever. <laughs> that was the biggest. Turn yes, on. I I am a police officer. Peter Popo. Uh, I've been a cop ten years now. In the hood. In the hood. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, no, nah, Miss mm, Christopher mm, has not mm, No, no, mm, we don't. Mm. You put your things back down, too. What the hell Yeah. Yeah, the costume. Yes. Uh, His ex-wife is there and mom. Yes. Arkansas. We're from Arkansas. Born and raised. Mm -hmm. A state in the house. Mm -hmm. Home of Bill Clinton. Uh, mm. And the Razorback, <laughs> Woo Pig, wait, wait, Woo Pig Suey, that too. Look, I'm trying to teach her, y'all. Y'all from is. Arkansas, I'm trying so hard to teach her all this. <laughs> e thank uh -uh. you, thank you, Stephanie. Uh uh. Man, it's just, hey, we're getting there. We're all. But relocating. <laughs> <laughs> you are too. Taylor, I just danced. I danced for an hour and a half at church. I know. I have all this extra <sighs> energy. Thank you. Represent. Stand right. up. So, I'll reread it. You seem like such a kind-hearted person. Have you ever arrested anyone or used your police voice to defuse a situation? Um, I've arrested thousands of people. We don't care about the Florida Gators tonight, Nobody cares Stephanie. about the Florida Gators. We just don't. No, but we don't. I've arrested thousands of people um, in 10 years working where I do. You, there, There's a lot of activity that happens. Uh... And a lot of those have been in volatile situations that I've had to defuse. Um, with me, I, I tend to think uh, my greatest weapon I have every day is my mouth. Um, I can talk. Look. Okay. I know it's, a, it's an after, after dark I, one. I'm, I'm done. Go. Lord have mercy. I'm gonna, Look, I'm just going to read straight through this thing. I'm going to go get, grab another bottle of water. She's a mess tonight. Team, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't have...
have to just sit there? You can. Well, I guess if you start driving again, I don't know. Am I supposed to? Eh, I won't go into that. Okay, so uh, I said the but the greatest weapon I have every day at work is my mouth. The tongue is mightier than the sword. Um, I've talked to several people into handcuffs that otherwise would have fought other officers. Um, for a while, I really thought of it as a game to try to get people to thank me for taking to jail, and I was shocked at how many people I can get to say thank you when I put them in handcuffs and take them to jail. Um, so it's just, it's that verbal judo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I we gave recycle, up on, so it's okay. Yeah, and I gave up on the little, little hold water bottles. Uh, Let's see, but I've always been told I have a gentle spirit, and it was something that carried over into being the police. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't, would they suspend your license for, for watching Periscope? Oh, even, yeah. even for just a minor traffic violation, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. I've had officers tell me that uh, when there's chaos happening in a room and I walk in, um, just when I step foot in the room, um, everyone settles down and calms, and I don't know why that is. Um, it's not because I have an awesome police presence that when I walk in the room, everyone's like, oh, shoot, that's a badass. I better straighten up. Nah, it's nothing like that at all. <laughs> For five days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my command presence at work is actually very, uh, it's a weakness yeah, of mine. they feel his vibe. Um... And I've always been told that in the 10 years I've been there, they're like, I'm one of the most laid back, I might be the most laid back cop in our department. And it's actually a uh, a fault to have that because people won't take you as serious, which a lot of times some somebody on the street that's doing something will, will pop, pop off to me with their mouth. Look, it don't bother me. I'll laugh at it. Um, other officers are like, you're going to let them disrespect you for something like that? And I'm like, that's really not disrespect to me. I mean, in the end, who's winning? They're going to jail. So, um, if the, actually, the the more angry I get on the job, the quieter I get, and I just kind of chuckle to myself. Um, I don't know. I said, and I was try. I've tried to figure it out several times. I said maybe it's the way that I look people straight in the eye and peek through that window. Uh, maybe it's just the patience I have with them, and I shrug off all the bull crap they speak at me. Um, Headache is going crazy. They must be sitting right there by the table. Yeah, Caleb's yeah. eating hot fries. All right. Uh, so that's about it on my, I don't know. I, my police voice is, if it has to come out, it does. Obviously, I have to do my job. and I it, find it very attractive, except for when yeah. he's talking to the kids and he tries to use his yeah. authoritative voice. His voice kind of cracks a little bit. If I, if I yell real loud, my voice will just crack. It's really low. I don't talk a lot. My lungs aren't real strong because I don't yell. Um, I yell. Yeah. No, I can't. I ain't, ain't going to do all that. So I probably bust out I'm, laughing, you are, Because it wouldn't be the same. You're not, I'm, I'm goofy. Not, I'm not uh, looking straight at you. You're not doing something wrong. But, I I'm mean, really even goofy. when I should be using it, a lot of times I don't. Someone ran from me last week, and I just pull up beside him. I, I almost ran him over, um, and he finally he fell, and I jumped out of my car to get him. On. I come up to him, and he starts to run again. I just go, really, dude, stop. Just stop. And he turned around and came back. Like, okay. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> Look, I used to tell him that. He'd be like, I need some traffic stops. I'm like, you want me to drive by your station? <laughs> you want to arrest me and stuff? I mean, you can arrest me and stuff uh, if you want to. I'll drive fast by you. Mm. He was like, no. I can't. I can't. They'd pick up on it. They'd be like, didn't he pull that car over yesterday and the day before and the day before? Yeah. yeah. But, oh, one time I did have him arrest me or put handcuffs on me at my job. Did I, Remember I put your, or no, I put your handcuffs on. I took them at your, your waist. Oh, yeah, yeah. I took They're his not handcuffs. They're People, not comfortable at all, y'all. People are, like kids ask all the time, can you put those cuffs on me? What do they feel like? Wanna... I'm like, they hurt. They hurt your wrist. And put it down tight enough they're going to cut you. I'm good on that. I don't ever want to be... Although I do have some hot pink ones that glow in a black light that are in the bedroom. What? <laughs> <laughs> Get Robux pink fuzzy women. I don't... Yeah, I'm, uh... 
<laughs> Some of us in our department carry hot pink cuffs because they think it's funny to put them on the bad guys. I wouldn't care if I was going to jail. I don't care what color the cuffs I'm are. I'm sorry, Taylor. I love you. <laughs> us and me will never part. Uh, My tea da da. Okay. Okay. Right. Focus. What is this? Focus. <laughs> You want to read the next question? Do you I'll want to answer next... this, or do you want me to read my thing that I wrote out again? What? It's about our schedule. Our schedule? Life. No, I've never been arrested. <laughs> D, D, Nizzy, and no bounce after dark. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been arrested. I've never, um, I've only been pulled over twice. What? I've gotten two tickets, oh, one lucky. ticket. I got... I did the whole schooling and it didn't go. The second ticket, I paid like a hundred and something dollars. Um, I never really got into trouble. I'm just I speed. A bad. I, I, Real bad. I, um, I if think we're running late somewhere, I'm like, hey, just drive. Because <laughs> we'll make it there. Yeah. No. I've never done anything that Casey doesn't know about. I'm, I, I've never stolen anything. I've never broken into somebody's car. I've never... Um, I was more concerned with, like, partying. I mean, I guess if you say, like, public intoxication, intoxication or... Intoxication. Intoxic into yeah, that word, intoxication. Or um, maybe some... Oh. Look. Five days no poop. <laughs> <When> I, <laughs> she won't poop in public hardly at all. I don't ever. poop in public. Look, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I don't care. I don't, and I don't so poop at potties are some rough. family members' houses. Yeah. I poop at my house. I'll poop at Taylor's house. I'll poop at my Mimo's house. There he is. I don't poop at Casey's parents' house. Why not? Cause I don't feel comfortable there. Sometimes when you poop, you know you gotta get naked, or oh, you gotta take God, your Jesus. shoes and your socks off. You gotta air out, let your legs open so you can poop. No, no. That's not even bad though. I probably should have been arrested for like some public nudity or something like that, but <laughs> it all it's all swirling around being drunk. Yeah. Look, when I got hired, I, I was on points warning for getting my license suspended. I had, on my application, they wrote, they asked how many tickets I had or whatever. I was like, uh, seven speeding tickets. I think I've had more than that. That's just all I could remember at the time. Um, I've never been arrested either, but I've been pulled over a whole lot. Mm. My dad was arrested a lot, so I was always afraid to get arrest arrested. Oh man. Um, um I, I feel like this is kind of I feel like growing up where I grew up in the hood, like you see things. I saw things that I probably shouldn't have seen growing up. Um and so you yes. You take it as either you're going to live that life or <laughs> you don't have to. No, you, we're keep all Keep it laughing. going, right? Um Either you're going to live your life right or, um, <laughs> exactly, don't do dumb stuff. Either you're going to live your life right or you're not going to live your life right. You know, today is my brother's birthday. My brother was killed in 2006. He was killed a week after I got married. But my brother wasn't, he didn't, my brother was in that scene. You know, we lived in the hood. Um... Oh, yeah. You didn't know they could see your comments? Yeah, everybody can see your <laughs> comments. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is, that's amazing. That was, yeah, best thing all night. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so my brother was killed. Today's his birthday and you have a choice. I feel like you really have a choice. I feel like you can live that life, that life, or you can, your secret's safe with us and everybody else on Periscope, or you can, uh, try to do better. And I always wanted better. 
So I never did anything out of the way. So. Is uh, Andrea me in here? I haven't seen your name pop up. No, I'm snitching, <laughs> fam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, snitches get ditch. Put it. Wait, snitches get put in ditches. Yeah, you know ditches. that. Uh, we don't uh, snitch around here, fam. Ain't no snitches, bitch. No. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Um. Oh. Mm. You alright then? Yeah, my brother was murdered. My mom lost God after that, so I can kind of relate to that. Yeah. But. That's done. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hi. Man. Yes. Y'all yeah. know my dad a crackhead. I tell y'all all the time, my dad a crackhead. Mm -hmm. Still to this day, crackhead. He a professional crackhead. He is. I mean, like. It's pretty amazing. He is a, a which, professional. Which is interesting when I go around him. He act, he don't act like he doesn't like the police any, so. Because he didn't been around the police so long, he get arrested all the time. <laughs> One time we had our house. We keep uh -huh. freezing. I don't know, y'all. Um. Much. Much. You want to you move? Yeah, we're going to move. Come and go with me oh, through sorry. our house. Oh, we're going to go into oh, the house. Right. You want to sit right here? Yeah, we'll just sit right here. <laughs> it's dark. Right. It's scary. Y'all can see that we love our wine. Yeah, our wine bar. All of the wine must have wine, must have more wine. Yeah, we love wine. Oh, yeah. Wine goes with everything I wear. <laughs> we drink. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. What's happening? My mom passed away when I was 16 from drug use. So I can relate. Yes. You want a tour of our house? Nah. That's Kodak behind us. Oh yeah, that is Kodak back there. And that picture on, on the wall. <sighs> if this is better, let us know. Yes, wine goes with everything. I we totally love. do a, wine, a glass of wine tonight. I have calories for wine too. Look, I went. I ran two and a half miles today. I thought I was gonna go out there and bust like a 5K out, and the heat index was 103, and I was dumb, and it sucked the life out of me today. Uh, but I think I do have calories for some wine. Oh, yay, it's better. See, I think it is that I room. I think it's that room, too. That's my yoga room we be in. But now I look like I'm red. Do I look red to y'all? It's the lights, the orange lights or whatever. I don't, don't want to be red. No, we don't want to. There we go. Wait. Only when I move. Anyway. At least your, your head ain't shiny. All right. Um, it's dry, though. Okay, so someone put on... Um, Tara asked the next question about time. Yeah, I was going to jump to this one because okay. we're all over the place tonight. I'm sorry. We're running out of time for all that. We're running out of time. Uh, let's see. Someone did on my Instagram page, they said, who gets the worst drama from being in this in an intellectual relationship, like the worst backlash and everything? She was like, I, I don't really know. Um, I'm going to say she does. Um, at I least do. outwardly she does. If some of our Periscope feeds you'll see, she's the one that gets called names and attacked and all they that. They call me monkeys on here. Yeah. Or did I call you something else one time? I don't know. She got the DMs about the racial slurs and all that. We have an email, which we'll give at the end of the Periscope, it's that you can send in questions. Or you can follow us. We're both on... We're both on um, Instagram, so. Yeah. Um, I think So, outwardly, I think she gets more crap. Inwardly, I think I probably do. All my friends at work or well, I wouldn't say friends. Some coworkers or just other people that I know, uh, I'm sure they talk about me behind my back a lot more than the people who talk about her. Um, I'm pretty sure his little cabot friends, too. Man. The city I grew up in is probably 99% white, and so it's kind of, 
It has a stigmata with it that's very racist. I didn't see it growing up. Stigma. Stigma. Did I say stigmata? That's hilarious. Yeah, that's a religious thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, we watched The Order. I had her watch The Order last night with Heath it was Ledger. so weird. Don't watch it. Yeah. Cabot, yo, BB is the same. Yeah. You came out all right, Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah, Stigmata. Stigmata's a movie. <laughs> um, we'll see. And then, okay, let's see. Yes. Um, yeah, we're we're working on we're that. working on it because it's. I mean, you, this isn't the first. Then a raisin. This isn't my first interracial relationship, and I've had the backlash before. You know, like me and my ex boyfriend, we walked into a restaurant, and literally the whole restaurant went quiet, and you could hear people saying, "Oh my God, he's with the black girl." Oh my God, he's with the black girl, and like we were like, "Yeah." So what? He's with a black girl. Can we get some food? <laughs> so, um, it happens. It does. Uh, one of the problems we that we've discovered is she takes everything very, very personal. Right, and food is my everything. Man. That's one thing y'all will know about me. I will let you know if you ever want to get on my good side. Like the weight of my heart is through my stomach. Feed me food, uh, Mexican <laughs> food. Um, give me, yes, Thank you. cheese dip, tacos, <laughs> burritos, um, pizza, um, Italian food. I mean, you can just name food, you're gonna like I it. love food. I was, uh, Fire Girl was talking about chitlins today on her thing. And I hilarious. love chitlins too. No, chitlins just, with, just with hot sauce and mustard and greens and candy yams and fried chicken and black eyed peas and... Carrots and green beans. Hey. I do Chinese. I focus. Yes, chitlins. Mm, yes, thank you. My daddy used to cook them and put an onion on top so it wouldn't make the house smell. Mm. Neck bones. Yeah, it's we talk about that. Yeah. We have very, very candid. Always. I'm not hungry right now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. What? Look, if we're gonna be Periscope BFFs, I'm gonna need you to at least try, try some chitlins. Just one, just one, a chitlin. Look, you really work in this Tennessee angle, man. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, they smell, but when you put that mustard and the hot sauce on them, it's okay. It every it makes everything better. Okay, look. Our work schedule. It said the question is with Casey working as a cop and me with her schooling and her job. How does your school your schedule work? Like how hectic can it get, and how is it normally? Our schedule is terrible. Like some like last week's Periscope, I was just like, oh my gosh, I just want to go to bed. We just went skydiving. Oh, yeah, we did in West Tennessee, actually. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, you want me to say what I wrote out, or you want to just speak it? We just speak. I'll tell them my schedule. So, here's my schedule. I'm in school five days a week. Monday and Wednesday, I don't get out of school. <laughs> <laughs> Mondays and Wednesday, I don't get out of school till 1.40. And... Uh, give me one second, I'll tell you. And then uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, I get out of school at 11 o'clock. Um, I'm in school for psychology, and my minor is in marketing. I don't want to do behavior psychology. I want to do the business side of psychology, consumer psychology. So um, when I'm not at school, by the time I, or Mondays and Wednesdays, by the time I get out of school, it's time to meet Casey at the house. We got to pick the kids up between 2 and 2.30. So we get here. We, he changed. We hop right back in the car. We go and get the kids. And if it's a Monday and it's our week to get there, and then we go and get there. We come home. We might spend a little time together depending on what day it is. Like Bible study starts back up tomorrow. Yeah. So every Wednesday. Monday's dance. Monday is dance for Kenzie. Um, 
Tonight I had dance practice for tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesdays for the next six weeks Bible study. is Bible study. Which we'll interject there and say Periscope won't be on Wednesday nights from now on. No, it'll seven. be on Tuesdays. It's going to be Tuesdays? Yeah. Tuesday, either Tuesdays or Fridays. We'll let you know. <laughs> you should have a pamphlet. I know. Um, Thursdays. Thursdays, he work nights. And then every other Thursday I have um, praise team practice. So, the only, yeah, very hectic. <laughs> I'm glad we freed that time up for you. Um, so, the only time we really get to see each other is like Fridays, really. And Saturday nights. Saturday nights. Because Sunday, he worked 15 hour shifts and I'm at church. Yeah. Every other Sunday, I got to be at church at 7.30 in the morning because I got to sing for the three services. Or whenever I sing, I sing all three services. So, I got to be at church at 7.30 in the morning. And there's usually some kind of engagement or two or three on a Friday and Saturday night for us. Although, yeah. and big one for me, uh, college football started up, so Saturdays are now booked for their entire T. Yes. But, I mean, I'll grill out. I'll make it worthwhile. Yeah. So, um, no, the only after-school care they get is from us. Oh, my God. Phone challenge. When's the last time we went on a date? We went to Chatters the other day on a lunch date. We had a lunch date, yes. Uh, in between her classes at school on one of my days off. Yes, because I have about an hour. Um, typically, that's when I go to the gym. But yeah. I was like, let's have a lunch date. So we went on a lunch date on last week. Yeah. Last week, we went on a lunch date. But as far as like a nighttime date... <laughs> It's been a minute. Uh-uh. Vacation. It's been a minute. It has, yeah. <laughs> we went um, to Ruth, Ruth Chris. Mm -hmm. Ruth Chris while we were in Atlanta. And um, my amazing friends were like, y'all two go on a date. We'll watch the kids here at the hotel. So we went to Ruth Chris, which was amazing. We don't go on dates as much as we should. Yeah. And we realize that, and it frustrates us. But mm -hmm. until I get out of school and I get like a, a for real deal... Yes. Job. This is, we have to do what we have to do. So. We try to really focus on each other every night. Yes. Uh, we, we have bed, pillow talk. Yeah. We, we talk about our days, how we're feeling, how, you know, all that good stuff. Um, yes. And we're trying to lose weight now. Yes. So we're also working out. You throw that on any day, which half the days I'm too tired because dude, getting up at 445 in the morning, just really, it, it sucks. It's terrible. Um. Oh, and you got to throw in, I'm supposed to be studying too, because I'd be yeah. having homework and stuff, and I don't study like I should. Yeah. This is like last semester, people. Last, last semester. semester. <laughs> Pray my strength. Um, we do plan to go on a uh, a real nice date soon. We um, do. Did y'all see that gum, is it just seven? Seven gum? Project seven. Project seven gum. Y'all, it's really good for real. It is really good. Ooh. Yeah, just go get some. Um, so they had a little competition set. They actually sent the police department a lot of them. I snagged some just to bring home and try out. Um, I stole them from the little kids, I guess you could call it. But they had a competition that said, blow a bubble, send us a picture and all that. Well, she did a little yoga move in one, so they sent us a $100 gift card. So we're going to go to like dress up like suit and dress type dinner and go somewhere with that. This is our gum stash. It's called... Project 7. Put it up. I'm trying. This is coconut lime. It's really good. Is everything mirrored to y'all? We just see it mirrored. Birthday is that birthday cake? Birthday cake is amazing, guys. Yeah, they taste real good. I did a hollow back. Cause there ain't no a hollow back there. on the wall. Um, there's yeah. Oh, okay. It's so good, ain't it, Tay? I didn't know you were still here, Tay. I thought you had left it. it. Look, it's normal for them. It's just mirrored for us. Oh, Dinner. good. Let me Google it. <laughs> Project 7. And they have I think good... you're talking about my yoga move. Oh, oh my bad. Yeah. <laughs> you just go to her uh, Instagram and see the actual picture. Underscore yoga knee underscore. Good question. What does my church feel? Um, thank you. So, I go to a non-denominational church. They thank know you. that... Um, we're not married. 
like my pastor's view on it is you know why push people away who are sinning we're supposed to be bringing people in like the whole point of church is to bring people in and change the way that they're living so if they exercise me is that the right exercise me yeah. If excommunicate, yeah. <laughs> if they kick me out the church, you know, for ostracize, thank you. Okay. It, it, or, which is a big thing in a lot of black churches, you know, they'll ostracize you and judge you for the way that you're living. But in turn, that doesn't make you grow closer to God. It kind of pushes you further away because you're like, dude, like this is supposed to be a church. Yeah. If I'm having an issue, I'm supposed to be able to come to my church, come to my pastor, come to my first lady and be like, I'm struggling, struggling. Oh, oh thank you. So, um, they don't really, you know, they, they, the people that I'm closest to have verbalized that <laughs> I do it on the wall. I don't do it free flowing yet. Um, I, I'm still working on my handstand. But um, the people that I'm closest to, they're like, you know, we all did it. Everybody sins. Everybody is sinned and falls short of the glory of God. So there's, there she is. Oh, yeah. We just answered all your questions, boo. No, we, no, we didn't. Oh, we didn't? She's the. Oh, okay. We didn't answer your questions. I kid, I kid. <laughs> I kid, I kid. But did that answer your question? I think that was Chanel. It's okay. I'm trying to find your, your gum one. Okay, does that make sense to you? There we go. <laughs> I said I was pissed on Facebook and I thought I was going to get excommunicated. Oh, wow. Aww. They are, well, they, they're kind of holding out on you being a... Oh, a here's the picture. Of her blowing the bubble and winning the gum. Yes, and that's how I feel. It's okay. Cook your dinner. Cook us something, too, because we ain't cook nothing. Um, <laughs> I feel like a lot of the way that the church... Um... Bye, Stephanie. Go watch your shows. I can barely touch my toes. <laughs> I feel like the church has it backwards, you know? Yes. I feel like when they do that, Neglecting my kids, it's okay. She <laughs> goes, do they really need to eat right now? <laughs> we neglecting our kids too. <laughs> they in there with their tablets. Oh, her battery's dying. They make phone cords for that. Plug it into the wall. Lay on the bed. Uh, no. No. I don't know. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's how my church is really open. Like. I've never been to a church where the first lady, first of all, doesn't refer to herself as first lady. Yeah, that's so weird. Oh, uh, okay. uh, tell Miranda we said hi. She acting all funny and not speaking and stuff. <laughs> uh, but like, the pastor's wife would just come up to you and have a conversation with you, like a twenty or thirty minute. Oh, hey, I didn't know that was you. <laughs> that's Miranda. Oh. <laughs> oh see the the church that I came from my pastor's wife took her role as first lady extremely seriously it's just so weird to me so it's a weird it's a weird term for me yeah but now my church they she comes up and I'll be greeting at the door and she'll sit there and have a 30 minute conversation with me while I'm supposed to be greeting the people as they come in like they're real relaxed yeah there's a lot of things that I gotta we, like when we get to heaven no. we're gonna have to ask God a lot of questions and I know my first question and I told y'all this last week Jesus what were you doing between 13 and 31 like where were you at in life did you like go to some special school? Um, were you out playing? Did you jump rope? Did you do hopscotch? Did you play tic tac toe? You working in them streets. You know, like God, what were you, Jesus? What were you doing throughout? The, anyway, that's my that's gonna be my first question when I make it to heaven. 
So, okay, let's, Andrea, let's get her questions. Okay. Hey, what is being about his father's business? He played football. <laughs> Jesus was a good cornerback. <laughs> he worked in the church. Yeah, oh, he did work in the church, but what did he do? Built did the he, pews. Did he hold the offering bucket? No, he built the pews. He was a carpenter. Bam. So maybe he was, what is it, being a um, sure. an apprentice. Oh. Maybe he was being an apprentice. I've never thought about that, Chanel. Thank you. Because I'd be like, what was he doing? I didn't think about him being maybe an apprentice, learning I figured his he trade. just walking around loving folks. He could have been walking around loving folks. Okay, so how did our families react? We have covered this one before, but it's very interesting because this week has been a difficult week for us uh, concerning this. Okay. okay. Look at y'all multitasking too. That's what I'm talking about. This that's real friendship. Mm -hmm. When you use each other's phones. Yeah. Um, we had discussed in the past my family doesn't really have an issue at all. That we know of. Yeah, that we know of. Although his cousin just deleted me and blocked me on on Instagram. For an absolute For nothing. For like we just saw her at the pool, they walked off, didn't say bye, and then she got blocked. I mean you go fe go feed your kids. Look, you know you can replay this later. Oh, it's a she. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know why. And we don't know why, but it's... I have no idea. I think it's because I like his other cousin. Oh, yay. Thank you. We like you, too. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our Periscope. Oh, no, but, yeah, she <laughs> she blocked me. They literally just came to my car. <laughs> How old are they? Oh, I don't know if it's Envy, but she blocked me and unfriended me on Instagram, so I blocked her and unfriended her on Facebook. Two can play at this game. Did you really? I did. But I am going to ask her the next time I see her. Ten, Ten nine, nine, and five. five. Dang. That ten-year-old can Your make husband that is white. Swirl Nation in the house. Come on. Mm. Oh, mm. Get the swirl on. Get the swirl on. <laughs> Get the swirl on. Get the swirl. I never really liked swirl ice cream, but I love him. Aww. But what about Neapolitan? That was sweet. <laughs> I don't like Neapolitan either. Whenever I would get Neapolitan ice cream, I would just eat the vanilla out of it. Vanilla dipped in chocolate? Yeah. That's his mama. My mama said that. She's like, I don't like this mulatto. Because I call, I was like, <laughs> if we have kids, we're going to have us some little mulattoes. And his mama's like... Uh, don't call them mulattoes. I don't like that. I prefer vanilla dipped in chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my parents are very open. They're, they said if I'm happy, they're happy. Um, and they love her. Uh, my mom always judges a woman by how great of a mother she is if she has kids. Um, so she loves Denise. Yeah. She always cries when I leave and she'd be like... I oh, love you nice. so much. You are such an amazing mom. And that's how I judge a woman. I judge a woman by how she treats her kids. And your kids are so well-mannered. And I just love your kids. I just love that little Mackenzie. And don't y'all go calling her fat either. <laughs> One of her little nicknames is Fat Mama. Oh. So. Um, mm. See, that's where That's we, my mama. Yeah, that's where we run into the... Our issues right now. Our, uh... <laughs> yeah, my mama is low key racist. Uh, and by low key, it's very high key. <laughs> she ain't low key racist. Um, so we're we're dealing with that. How she treats her plants. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, nobody would like me? Cause all my plants die. <laughs> Man. Look, our garden did not do good this year. Hi. Um, anyway, yeah. does, oh, uh, oh, wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, or maybe no. Okay. You are so welcome, but we, hold on. We, yeah, that we was did. the only Okay. One, yeah. So, um, the Her, kids, yeah, mine are. Yeah. Her, uh, other family really embraces me and accepts me. Her grandma. Like my Taylor boo. Taylor, you still there? It's getting uh, light no. for Tay. 
Yeah, Taylor's in nursing school, y'all. I'm so proud of my cousin. She's so smart and she's like super, super duper dedicated. Mm -hmm. um, she graduates, I think, in May. Yay. See, there she is. So we are very proud of Taylor. I'm surprised she's been on per hanging out with <laughs> on this with Periscope. She's usually um, in her books. May 13th. May 13th. So we will be there. I told Casey that when I graduate, I want a pair of red bottoms to walk across the stage in, but he just laughed in my face. I ain't paying $1,000 for some shoes. Bruce Willis and Oprah. Why I gotta be Oprah? Why come I can't be like, um... Somebody hot. Holly Berry. Yeah, I can go with that. Can you get on Periscope every day? <laughs> <laughs> we don't, if we had time. Yeah, if we had time. We man. might start doing some random ones. See, I told her I would spray paint them red. No. <laughs> I don't I don't want to just spray paint them red. I want to like get some for real. I found some for $647. Ain't no need in $600 pair of heels. There is. I want some that's, red bottoms. That's hurts right there. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, guys? Chicken butt. Guess what, chicken butt? Yep. <laughs> I'd replay in my head. <laughs> oh. Cool dinner, too. Those heels cool to eat. Yeah. One question that we did get, I just got my new car Corvette. Sweet. What? We still got one more of uh, Terrace. That's really awesome. I wish. I got a 2015 Chevy Equinox because I'm a mom and I got a mom car. That needs to be bigger already. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you are so welcome. Thank you guys for like following us because yes. and sending in questions. And because we're like we're just regular people, like for real. We're Look, just we, really goofy people. We went to the circus last week, and this good lady, night. Good night. Hello. Something to say. Hi. We uh we went to the circus and we're walk we're leaving the circus. It's dark out. We're crossing the street and some lady just Stop. stops in the middle of the street and rolls her window. She's like, "Hey, I follow y'all on Twitter. Beautiful family." And we're look. That was the first time somebody's just recognized us. That was kind of weird. It was really weird. Tara does have bomb questions. Yeah, so she does. Shola. Shola probably got caught off guard with the yeah. Tuesday instead of a Wednesday, and she's across the the world. So she's in Poland. Poland. So she probably no will send celebs. hers in the morning. No, I don't want to be a celebrity. Because, nah. look, when you a celebrity, you can't do stuff and just talk about stuff like we can. We'd we be keeping it too real sometimes. Yeah, I like having my, my privacy at times and still being able to talk to you guys because you all are awesome. True. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here. Okay, so it. this is Tara's last question. Right, I want the fortune, not the fame. Bam. Uh, I pr she said, last question, I promise. Brazil. Ooh. You're all over. So I dream that my future husband is full of hugs and kisses and compliments, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, when I see other people do it, the first thing I think is cheesy. Are you guys all touchy and cute because that's just how you are personality-wise? Or is it because of your significant other that you act that way towards them? No, we only speak English. She she pretends no. to know. Sometimes yeah. I act like I'm Mexican. Yeah. Or British. Spanish. Oh, yeah, her British accent's fun sometimes when it comes out. Sometimes I'll start speaking in a British accent to the kids just randomly. And they'll be like, Mommy, why are you talking like that? I'm like, talking like what? I'm talking normal. They'll be like, you're not talking normal, Mommy. <laughs> it messes with their heads. You know, psychological things. Yeah. Yeah, we, we went to like a... Where, 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 it was we were in like Atlanta. Popeye's Chicken, I think. It was we a rolled McDonald's. Up. Was it McDonald's? Mm -hmm. I, I did my order in a British accent. She sounded... Yeah. But she halfway through, she kind of forgot... <laughs> <laughs> Please go feed your babies. Please go feed your babies. We will see you later. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, we are very touchy feeling. Yes. If you can't tell. Um, 
That is my love language. One of them is touch. Um, but now, growing up, I was very anti PDA. PDA? Yeah, PDA. Um, to the point where if I was taking my girlfriend to the airport, um, they had a popsicle. <laughs> If I was taking my girlfriend to the airport and dropping her off for a week on vacation or wherever she was going, I'd be like, okay, we're going to hug and kiss in the car before we get out. And when we got out to get all of our luggage out and everything, it I'm was... I'm going to need a translator. Yeah. It, uh, there's no long embrace, no long hug, because we can take care of that in private. But, <laughs> PBJ. You can't, yeah. Just throw a bag of chips at them. It'll be all right. Popcorn is a lifesaver around here. Popcorn is a lifesaver. Even for us. But anyway, now, now I, I, you know, I'm still respectable or whatever, unless uh, I've been drinking a lot, then everything kind of goes out the window for me, and I just don't care anymore, apparently. Yeah. Um, he turns into Grabber McGrabbison. Oh, that's a nice, nice word there. Yeah. Grabby McGrabberson. That's what he does. So, but, at the table. Um, but I, I will say that she does bring it out more. <laughs> I think you're no bounce. I'm D Nizzy and you're no bounce. Oh, yeah. I just got the. Uh, yeah. I am. Yeah. I love touching him and I love when he touches me. Yes. People think we're weird. My family thinks we're weird. My little sister hates being touched. She does. And he'll, he will go up to her and give her a hug or rub her back and she's like, Casey. I know. She turns around. She's like, yeah. You know, I hate it. You know, I hate that. I'm like, You got to loosen up. Guess a who's bit. back? Mm. Back again. Mm. Mm. Steph is back. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Tell a friend. Uh. Uh. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? This Guess who's back? Right <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know me so well. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And that was a really big thing for me. Yeah. She. She. I'm weird. She didn't like to let out her weirdness, and I'm like, just be you. That's who we're. Yes, ma'am. I am definitely gonna find out why the cousin blocked me. <laughs> My kids have a pair. I mean, have their own Instagram page, and I was actually gonna go on their Instagram page and like DM her and be like, one of those emoji faces, <laughs> like five of those. Like, why did you block me? Yeah. I don't know why she... I think it's because I like Jordan better than her. Did I say that on Periscope? Yeah, you said that out loud. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh. Maybe they won't watch this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's all of our questions. Yeah. I love touching Casey. I do. I love when he touches me. And it happens all the time. Well... I mean, we hold hands everywhere, but we'll walk through the mall. I'll rub her back. She'll rub my back. Um, he grabs my butt. I grab his butt. Yeah, it happens. Um, and, I mean, we do it in private, too. We'll be cooking in the kitchen, trading off every time we pass each other. Yeah, it's, yeah I, I know, know, right? I know, but Stephanie. Look, we talked about that last week. We did talk about your butt last week. The old man saggy booty that's non-existent. We don't have to bring up my butt every period. But in his new underwear that he has, it, like, lifts his butt and make it look like he got one. The only thing I'm trying to be touched by is the <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Pancake cheeks. Pancake cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> the power of perception, just like my bras, right? Them, them, them uh, built in bras be helping a whole lot. Y'all got anything else for us this evening? evening night I feel like we're getting random random folks tonight we are we've had this conversation Stephanie like you give me some of your boobs I will gladly take them I'm gonna buy me some y'all or he gonna buy me some yeah that's what's gonna happen he gonna buy me some boobs he gonna buy me some boobs but he won't buy me no red bottoms can I enjoy red bottoms yes when I'm walking around in them no nah. You can be barefoot for some For the surprise. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you're a fan. Um. Oh, Instagram. So, I am Yogani on Instagram. It is underscore Y-O-G-A-N-E-E -E underscore Yogani. And he is at Casey Knight. 
K-A-S-E-Y, K-N-I-G-H-T. So, at Yoga Nee, at Casey Knight. And then if you guys have questions for us, and y'all don't have to wait until the day that we have a Periscope. Uh, no. Can somebody put it in for Mr. Larry, Big Boss? My, our, um... Just, we'll, we'll try to put it up in our... Put it up in there? Um, I don't know. We, we knew to this whole Periscope life. Yeah. But, um... Oh no, you're fine. But if y'all have questions, you don't have to wait. You can email us at any time. We have it both on our phones. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Tara. Um, we have it on our phone, so we get your got your questions like immediately. So if you have questions, feel free. Or even if you just want to talk to us, we both see the emails. We'll have to do that. Um, we both see the emails and so we can respond back. But um, one question that we did get posted again. Our email is interracially. It's the same as our Periscope Yes, it's name. the same as our Periscope name. Interracially, the letter N, love at gmail.com. I missed the screenshot. <laughs> um. Those are underscores. Okay. Yeah. So email us questions. And then y'all know, give Fred some love down there. Fat Fred. Fred needs to be on my fitness pal too. Um, who's doodle on the side of the, That was Casey's doodle oh, on the man. side of the paper. Did you show them all that up there? Look. I am the worst of all artistry ever. Look at this one. This was from the last two periscopes. I don't even know. It just kind of happens. Y'all see me looking down, scribbling? That's what I'm doing. We're going to name him Blocky McBlockerson. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's his name. But anyway, the little fat man. Y'all know what I do? I doodle in school. And yeah. typically... <laughs> oh, Lord, Jesus. You're about to embarrass yourself, aren't you? you Typically, I turn, I, I do, I go back to like seventh grade. You know, like when you were in seventh grade. Um. <laughs> Blocky, aka you cuz. When I'm in class, I, I revert back to when I'm like in junior high school and I start scribbling my name with Casey's last name. So I'll write like Janine Knight. Yes, I do that too. And I'll like write my name in cursive to practice for when we do get married that I can have my signature down pat. And I'll just write Janine Knight over and over and over. And over and over and over. Janine Knight. Janine Knight. Janine Knight. And I make uh, first grade yeah. drawings. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Stephanie, because you keep it real. It makes me barf. It makes me barf, too. Sometimes I get sick at how cute we are. Why are we so cute? Stop being so cute. Just be just be awkwardly weird with me for a minute. I'm awkwardly weird all the time. It's awesome. It is awesome. I'm so awkward, it's amazing. Everyone should be awkward. But you're like hyper, hyper... I am. Tonight. I am. It could be the lack of water. I'm dehydrated. I almost passed out driving. Thank you. I've been weird my whole life. I don't know how to not be weird. But yeah, I'm dehydrated. Taylor, I need a um, an IV line. Can you come over and bring me an IV line? Do you have any at home? Probably not. So I need one. Or can I come to your? I need more memes. Your memes. residence. I need an IV line. Anyway, does anyone have any more questions? 
I for real need an IV line. I almost passed out driving today, y'all. It was bad. Casey went off on me, too. He went all daddy night on me. Mm -hmm. You know better. Drink more water. Take, That's not acceptable. Just take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You have me worried. And you I'm know, like, you know who, I'm who, who fine. Probably, you know who probably does have a lot of uh, IVs and water? Who? Tennessee. I bet they got a lot of that in Tennessee. Where can I get with your own? See, Steph, what I love water, Larry. I just, like, I'm always on the go. So, a lot of the times, I just be forgetting. Uh, probably next, probably next Tuesday. Yeah, next Tuesday. Maybe we'll do a special one. Because we got so much to say. Yeah, I don't know. I love water. Water's my drink of choice, other than wine. <laughs> wine and water. Please, like this weekend. <laughs> do we have anything planned this weekend? Uh, I feel like we do. Uh -uh. I have a quiz on Saturday. We're uh, in the works for our next community event. Hi from Russia. Hi. I don't know how to say hi in Russian. Mm -mm. So I'll say hi. <laughs> Any more questions before we, we hop off tonight, guys? I got to put my kids to bed. Oh, yeah. Caleb and Kenzie. Man, look, we told them to go get in bed and get ready for bed, and they just lay down and went to sleep. This is it was the so amazing. first time in history that happened Ever. last night. We went to go actually tuck them in, and they were out. Out. They might be out. Let me see. Come away with me. La, 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 la. My kids are three and five. This is our kitchen. Those are wine bottles, guys. All the wine bottles. I think, what you call it, left so she didn't. She can't see the tour of the house. Oh, I thought that was Tennessee. Dude. Are they full? No, they're not full. This is. That's why they're so quiet. That's why they're quiet. Okay. Are y'all gonna say hi? <laughs> you see this leg crossed? Oh, oh yay. yay. They said hi guys. You see her little leg cross. Look at this. Look at this. Leg crossed. Is this Theron? No, this is Periscope. These are all our Periscope friends. Say hi guys. Hi. Can you tell them what your name is? My name is Caleb. My name is Kenzie. Caleb and Kenzie. Thank you. She fancy. Yes, she is. And this is their room. There's Theron's bed. They wanted to all sleep together. Mackenzie's bed, but she's missing some letters. And then there's Caleb's Spider-Man. Yeah. Anyway, it makes life easier. I will show y'all their playroom, but it looked like a tornado hit it. Yeah, their, their playroom's pretty bad. Anyway. Okay, guys, it's been wonderful. Our kids are actively on their tablets, and we need to unplug them from the internet, clearly, because they were not studying anything we had to say. So, good night. Skin a marinky dinky dink. Skin a marinky do. Oh, no. I love you. You can't see my love. <clears throat> I'll try to. It was nice meeting you too, Larry. Hit us up, homie. Okay. Look, I'm Larry blind. Big Balls. I'm so blind. I'm writing your name down, Larry. Look, y'all, if y'all follow me on Instagram, like DM me and tell me who you are on here versus there. We know so, that yeah. Miss 420 Girl. Is it Andrea <laughs> or Andrea? Andrea. I'm going to say Andrea. Okay, bye, Tara. Are you? Is it Andrea or Andrea? One for Andrea, two for Andrea. Emoji thinking face. Neither. <laughs> okay, so how do you pronounce your name, Andrea? No, I don't use Twitter. Andrea with an accent. 
Enria. <laughs> Enria. <laughs> Is that better? Oh, you're terrible. Is that better? I'll just have to hear it, I guess. Yeah. I don't know how I would hear it. <laughs> Oh. And Ria. <laughs> you are a mess tonight. <laughs> I'm a mess tonight. Oh, they said it right. I no. <laughs> are you Hispanic? 420 girl. And Ria. Andrea. Um, <laughs> Andrea. Try again. Close. And and my tongue don't roll. Andrea. Oh, Andrea. 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 Uh. Ah! Bam! I did it. I did it. I really, really did. Uh, uh. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, 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 she can want to see me twerk. I'll make a twerking video for y'all. Night, night. Do it to it. Bye, Tay. I don't know how to do it. How do we end this, y'all?